The day after our biggest hunt of the season, I'm set up on another bunch of snows with high hopes in the sun. The reprieve from the nasty weather didn't last long though, and Jeff was hard at it in the deep snow yet again. The cold and white stuff had the birds feeding throughout the day, so we pulled off another classic on Garrow Three County Shuffle to get it done. Brad spotted it, Mel guided it, and I brought the needed gear to the field from the lodge. What a day. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across five million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna lay this out. I'll lay out the perimeter. We're gonna have a long leg on this side. There's another roost over there. We're gonna have a short leg on this side. Just a few decoys behind me. You guys are gonna be right here. The objective is to kill as many snows as we can, and hopefully seven specks will get in the way. I'll lay out a perimeter, and then, and then you guys can fill out. So don't go outside of any white decoys that you see. Fair enough? Yeah. All right, that's what we're gonna do. And we won't even have a a spec decoy with us today. We didn't have one last night, we could have killed 200, so that's the plan. Let's do this. All right. All right, so really excited again this afternoon. Just an absolute monster blob of geese. There's probably, I don't know, I mean, to estimate 25,000 uh, snows with, I don't know, four or five, 10,000 specks. I, I don't know what the mixture would be. It's lots, so let's call it 25,000 geese. Anyways. They've been here, they've been in the barley, they've been here, they fed heavily here. They got badgered by the eagles this morning and they kept wheeling and coming back to this spot. So very imprinted here. Uh, when they left, they went to two roosts, possibly three. Uh, again, this flock is mostly adults. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. You know, it's always, uh, there's always a bit of trepidation. Basically just a big, big, long, or traditional U. And what I did last night is I ran kind of a half a feed band on the bottom side of the hole. It was really neat because they'd come in the open side and hover over the hole and fall in. And we killed most of our birds right in the hole last night. We killed 114 geese, two juvies, so 112 adults. So the rig worked. Uh, hopefully the concealment factor today's is good and the light in the wind stays and should be good, you know. Hold tight, guys. Oh, just hold, 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 get ready. Get ready, they want us. Ready? Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Four, five. Whoa! That one could have hurt Jeff, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. The good news is we got our specs. The bad news is we done our specs. <laughs> How awesomely awesome was that? No geese above, guys. Let them work, let them work, let them work. We gotta get a little lower. Okay, these ones are gonna do it. Back left, get ready. Come on, get down, get down, get down, get down. Kill these two, guys, kill the two. Kill that upper one. Look for all the targets. Good shooting, boys. Nice shot, Thomas. Well, guys, we might be taking shots straight up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Snow's out front, guys. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, my God. Hold, hold on. Let him spin. Let him spin. One more, one more, one more. Let him slow down. Just a little bit. Let these go. Let these go. Watch those snows. Watch the snows. Get ready on these snows, guys. Kill the snows. Right there. Right there. Right there. So that single. Nice. Oh, right on front, guys, right on front. They're low enough when they come straight over. Just hold tight. Kill those, boys, kill those. Nice, that's what I want to see. Load quick, one's coming back. Oh no. Watch that one. He's losing cabin pressure. Watch him, watch him. There he goes, he's dead. Dead bird. 
Boom. Oh yeah, dead as a stone. Now we're losing birds to everything else right now. Get ready. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Reload quick, just reload, reload. Get ready, get ready. Kill those, kill those. Watch out, there's a dead bird right there. Watch that bird. Watch him. Boom, there's the crash. Boom. See that? So 30 snow, six packs, which is all they could have shot. The six packs came in, oh my God. The first two came by, they drifted over, said, so oh boy, should have shot. And then six, like, I don't know how many come in, but it's just, they're right on us. They shot, all, they shot six. So was, I said to them, good news, you shot your six packs. The bad news is you shot your six packs. And then all night it was over on top of us. Then we had a bunch of birds drifting over there. And of course, then the wind went flat when the snow started flying. So they're coming high, and we did did the best we could. I don't know, it's good. Anytime you go shoot 41 decent in the afternoon and not get rained or snowed on, life's good. Life's good. It's good. Happy times. Well, that was a stroke of luck. I seen these birds coming from way to the east and followed them over here and they're going right into one of our good farmers home quarters and called and I got it right away. I would assume there's lots of lessers in here as well as a lot of specks. It's all dark and ducks. You can look to the south, I see birds flying. There was a bunch in the field back here. Well, I can see birds flying over there. This morning there was none of this. So we, we've got new birds, there's no question. Yeah, this is a good one, real good one. And it looks like Jeff's hunt is good to go. He says that it tripled. Oh, just a minute. I just, this is just a, a farmer. Uh, all you do is drive around and stand on the road, I see you. That's the combines that just went into the field. So. <laughs> I'll just text them back, yeah, that's all I do. Holy, there's a lot of birds out there. Hey now. We got a five quarters of barley that got laid flat by the snow. So the birds are hitting the flat stuff and there's some stubble on the one end of it and the stubble. The farmer doesn't want us walking on the crop. So we're gonna hunt the stubble in the morning and there's supposed to be some snow on the ground tomorrow. So it might be a little bit of a challenge, but nothing we can't compensate for. Oh boy, there's a lot of ducks in there too. Ducks are just going out to feed now makes it tough like a guy looking for a duck hunt they might think there's no ducks around and you know things are feeding late like it's it'll be dark here in 20 minutes and the ducks are just pouring off the water right now by the thousands here I'm a target for tomorrow uh, Mel's got one he's watching and Brad's got one he's watching so whichever one of those works out a bunch of us are getting tired of sitting in the car we've been spotting a lot lately we've had a couple of good hunts and the guys only hunt it once a day because they got all their birds so some extra spotting and that's starting to get old <laughs> so it'll be good to get in the field and do a little hunting <laughs> ralphie here he's keeping a close eye on them he had a close eye on a cow earlier today <laughs> we were trying to put it back in the pasture for the farmer unsuccessfully i might add <laughs> Hurting a cow by yourself is not easy. <laughs> Watch these for a few more minutes and then we'll be get in there and get a pin in the ground and see what we can do.
Yeah, we got a huge influx today. All the guys tonight are seeing birds everywhere, everywhere they look. This one here is a big, big hunt. Looks like it may be a target for the morning right now. So I'll put it to bed and then uh, figure it out from there. It's cold out, birds are moving, it's all good. New guys coming in tonight. They'll be excited, I know we are, so we're, we're happy we're seeing this. Yeah, like those are all brand new birds right there too. They, they just got here. And now the poor things are gonna get shot at. But we're liking it. And Jeff's hunt grew since this morning, so it should be a barn burner too. So that, that's awesome. We'll see how the rest of the evening plays out, but no, right now we're good to go. Well, we woke up to way more snow than we were supposed to get. Uh, so we're pretty much set up. Looks pretty good. We got some flyers out, some clones out, robos. Guys are gonna be in white suits this morning. Hopefully they don't freeze. So we got a little bit more to do to get ready, so we're gonna get that done and we'll see how it pans out here. Rip them! Just so you know, those two ducks cost you a big flight of specs coming straight in. Rip them! <laughs> Rip them! Nice shooting. There's a group of ducks. <laughs> Rip them! Two on the right. Rip them! Okay, watch these specs on the right. <laughs> rip them, rip them! Nice. Ducks on the right. Low. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Rip them, rip them! Those were a little hot. Look out in front of us, you might want to get down. Well, trying to find just an isolated snow goose hunt would be nice. The guys are at about, you know, half a limit of specs, half a limit of ducks right now. A um, bunch of snow last night, so the ducks aren't doing it right away. So, kind of trying to look, assuming maybe they'll get their ducks and look for a snow goose hunt for this afternoon. But if they don't get their ducks, I might need an option with some ducks on it as well. So one of those balancing things this morning, just kind of trying to patrol some stuff. I can only do about 70 kilometers an hour because we got a bunch of snow last night. So just looking right now, but I have a bunch of stuff to check, so. Yeah, sure, not a lot of gray snow geese. Oh, Jeff, 16 ducks, 18 specks, three cans, so yeah. Right to half limit about so. It'd be a shame to use this if they do get their ducks. So that's the dilemma you're in. You want to use a hunt that you have a bunch of ducks on if they have all their ducks just for some snows? Probably not. But could be a good option for the morning too. So at least it's checked. We'll just move on, I guess. Uh, 16 or 17 specs, including the one in the ditch. And eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13 ducks. It's pretty close, that's what I got on the ticker. Pretty good, they're, they're not liking something. Until we get that figured out, we might have a little trouble, but we'll see what we can do here. Yeah, they just got up. See, that's standing crop, so they're landing in that. Okay, get all that camo stuff tucked into that suit, guys. All right, let's get in. You can put a few more out front into the hurt not Had a good hunt this morning. The geese kind of quit coming. We got pretty much half a lemon. Brad seen this one. Figured it'd be a great option because we got water. We're close to a roost. Lots and lots and lots of birds. We quickly packed up, set up here, and then uh, we're just waiting for Claudia to bring the blinds, and we're good. Just bumped the birds off the field, lots of birds, more birds than I thought. Get these guys limit, clean up, maybe shoot some bonus snows. Waiting for the white suits, Claudia's bringing them up, so they should be here soon. The ducks are still rolling, the ducks will go all day, so when we get the white suits delivered, we'll be in business pretty shortly thereafter. These are great when we can do this. This, this is, it, it, it's just fun. Fun is going awesome. So far, so good. I'm loving it. Crazy. There he is, he's hauling ass right, right. there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's never a dull moment around here. So we did a total switch. Uh, you know, on a day like this, the quicker you can get in, the better. So I ran white suits and chairs out, rather than set up a, a big bush in the white stuff, and hopefully they get them. And then if they get them, we're going to move uh, Jeff's guys over. He's short about 14 ducks and wrap it up for the day. <laughs> the fun's going to start. We're going to beat them up. Go, 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 go on those two. Right there in front of you. Come on, hit them. What were those other three you killed? Specs? We shot five specs. What's that? That six. That one's six? Yeah. Okay, we can have five more specs. Fun, huh? Yeah. This is awesome. Kill them, guys. Kill him, guys, kill him. Boy, boy. <laughs> kill him. Nice, Blair. I didn't have time to turn my safety off. <laughs> Just two. Kill him, boys, kill him. That's it. Good shot on the snow. Double, baby. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's pick up the specs, make sure we got them all. Well, that was quick. I think we got our limit of specs already. I'm pretty sure we do. And we got, I don't know, three snows and one duck. We need 19 more ducks and whatever snows. And it's been a great day. Couldn't be better. Uh, it's been slow for the last couple hours, but we chipped away. We got 28 ducks, we got our limit of specs, and we picked up six cans. I'd say that's pretty good for a cold, snowy day. We've been out here, the boys are a little cold and a little frosty, but we got her done. Everybody's happy. We get packed up and get these guys in for lunch. They're pretty hungry too. I divvied out my granola bars I had in my pocket, so they held them over for another hour. <laughs> Go. Go, go.
kill him. Kill him. What's in here, got four? Kill them all, kill them all. Nice. Woo. Nice, guys, nice. Real nice. We're going to pack it up. Uh, the boys need uh, five more little cans. They shot four or five snows, so it makes up for it. And, it, you know, we've been out here since uh, 7 o'clock this morning hunting, so it's 1 o'clock now. Not bad for doing two fields in four hours. <laughs> we beat them up good. We got we got 80 birds. The ducks are still rolling like crazy. Got our specs, got our ducks, got most of our cans, few snows. Yeah, great day, great day. Time for some lunch. Coffee, that's what I need, coffee. Cold up there. Look at these ducks. That was crazy. That was okay, well, I'm gonna walk. Epic. Woo! I'm gonna walk and get the truck. Uh, two thumbs up for that one. Awesome, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be smiling for the next week. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! Happy clients. That's awesome. Ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Hopefully this is the last cold front of the season, but I doubt it. So uh, anyways, we pulled it off again, you know, we knew the snow was coming, we woke up to it. So we had to juggle things around. I mean, me and the guy just, you know, made it happen. Brad said, hey, let's move these guys into a field that's happening. I got uh, goose chairs and, uh, and the white suits. I raced them over there. Brad Mel set up. I come skidding in there with the white suits. They put them on, slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. It was over, you know. Ended up having a great day. Hunters are happy. We're happy. We're going to go spotting. They're going to eat lunch, and it's a wrap for today.